I'm a big believer of it because, I mean, luckily the old cars are pretty heavy, you know, metal wise. So they keep down more road noise than a lot of the tinny newer stuff, but the insulation makes all the difference in the world for, for road noise and heat and take what you can get. Plus it gives it a nice clean surface inside there. Hey guys, Eric with Retro Rides, and we are inside my 58 Chevy Nomad. And today I just want to touch base on some uh, sound deadening material that we use, which is Dynamatic Stream. Uh, we're not sponsored by them, but we do like their product. We put it in everything. Typically, we put it in everything because it cuts down on heat and noise and really gives a solid feel to the car too. You put a sheet inside of your door there and it makes all the difference in the world. Um, as you can see here, we go all the way up to firewall from front to back and uh, just try to seal up everything with it. So uh, the extreme's a little bit thicker than your normal Dynamat and it's just a butyl based uh, adhesive. So peel the back, stick it on, super easy to install. On this particular floor here, we brushed everything with Osfo. Sometimes we'll epoxy them, you know, on our floor restorations or or uh, even shoot some bed liner down before we put it on just to double it up. But this stuff's great. It sticks on there. It, it is a pain to pull off, so make sure you're ready for it when you put it on. As far as installing it goes, um, we have several different tools here. You can really use anything, but this stuff is really malleable. It forms to all the different corners and stays in there. So we use different tools like this particular roller here um, we can use to get inside of body lines like this, you know, and just work it in there and it just forms really nice. Uh, we've got other ones. We've got a whole bunch of them laying around here, but even just wood, you can use the handle of that thing and it forms right in there, but pretty user friendly stuff goes a long ways. Um, and we put it on everything. So the, the wagon here, uh, I'm in the middle of putting vintage air in it, AC, and this will also help keep the cool in and then also heat in when the winter comes around too. So uh, we put it, just got done putting it in the Nash, which we'll show you here in a little bit. We got a 67 Camaro in here with it in it and a 69 Camaro as well. So this is typically how we get it. We get the mega packs, they come in larger sheets like this here. That way we can kind of minimize all the seams that we, um, that we have throughout the car here and just try to make it uniform throughout. So um, it has a good finish on it too. It's nice. I mean, it's just a overall good product. We use it on everything. So on the 58 here, after we're all done applying this Dynamat here, it'll be essentially ready for carpet. And I got some more fitting and a little bit of metal work to do here. I'm making a trans tunnel here. I'll make a driveline tunnel in the back uh, for clearance issues. But other than that, this is about ready to spray down and put some carpet in here and bolt the seats down. So after it's done, we'll come back and cut out the holes where all the mounting, uh, like for seats or whatever you got mounted to the floor there. So we take it all the way up to firewall, pretty much everywhere you can stick this stuff, we put it in there. All right, let me show you what this looks like and as a completed job inside some of the cars we have around here. Uh, again, this is just work in progress, but stay tuned. There'll be more updates on this one later. Move this out. As you can see on the Nash here, we're pretty well done with this. It doesn't get much simpler than this floor here. It's pretty dang flat, but you can see we got little access panels in here. So you can still get the things and it stays sealed up nice. I think we're going to finish going up the firewall here as soon as we get the AC mounted in it, but essentially this one's done. So ready for carpet, ready for seats, whatever. So yeah, it's nice and sealed up, especially on a car like this where it's got like wood floors in it. So it makes all the difference in the world. But yeah, be a little, good little cruiser. We are now inside John's 67 Camaro where our Dynamat tour continues. You can see we did the whole thing from back to front up the firewall. Um, we built an ECM cover. This height houses all the engine transmission controller modules in here, and then the vintage air will sit right above it. Um, but like the wagon over there, we'll run it all the way up, and then it'll all be behind everything. So it'll keep everything nice and sealed. 
On this particular car here, we put new, all new four pans in it in the tunnel. It all got epoxied, seam sealed, uh, all the metal sealed up, and then we covered it with the Dynamat too. So um, just make sure you get all your holes welded up that you need to. And uh, yeah, we also put it inside the doors here too. It made a world of difference when you shut them just nice and solid. So and then pretty sure we got another Camaro here we can show you. So much Dynamat. And lastly, in this shop, we have the 69 Camaro here blowing in a pole. Again, fully dynamated. And uh, for all the same reasons, this one here is getting ready to be fitted for the ECM box as well. Essentially, it's got the same combination of LS3 automatic transmission as John's Camaro, and uh, which makes it nice and doing back to back here. So yeah, Dynamat. Our Dynamat tour start. <laughs> See, now I'm all thinking about it too much. All right. Our Dynamat tour continues. Inside here, Jeff, this is, cut that. All right.